Assalamualaikum and hi Let's continue with question number 27 Calculator that allow user to perform multiplication and division of two numbers From user to input and display the output First, what is the control structure for this question? Of course, this one is a sequence control structure Because in this question, there is no condition or the question did not mention how many times does the, this program need to repeat. So, what is the output? What are we going to get? So, the multiplication and division. So, this should be the output. So, multiplication and you have to separate by comma you cannot write n since we are going to get two different output that is multiplication and division so that's why we have to separate by comma next what is the input so of course two numbers so you can write as num1 or number one comma and number two because it allow user to enter two different numbers so in input you you cannot also write as n so how about the process so we are going to calculate what calculate multiplication and division based on based on your input that are num1 and num2 alright next we move to the next question Lily wants to calculate an average of a series positive number the process will stop if the number entered has a negative value so, what is the control structure for this problem statement? Of course, this one is a repetition. Repetition. And since now the statement said here is the process will stop if the number entered has a negative value, means that this one is a sentinel control structure. Actually, in repetition, there are two types of repetition that are sentinel control and the other one is counter control. Okay, you have counter control and sentinel control. Alright, now, in repetition, how to write the IPO? So, of course, what is the output? So, we are going to get what? An average of a series positive numbers. Alright, for the repetition here, you don't have to worry because you will learn this in the next topic. Alright, now how about the input? So, the input should be number. Alright, number. Okay, next, how about the process? Okay, to write the process for repetition, so you can write as calculate average of a series a series positive number you just write down the output so based on what based on number right until until negative value is entered 
means that when the user enter negative value then only this program will stop so this one is a sentinel control loop right this statement until negative value is entered it means that this one is a repetition it means that if user enter any negative value or numbers then it will stop the loop all right next we move to question number bi so if the payment by customer is over fifteen thousand, so display what display a message customer will be given a free etiquette to bangkok if the payment is between ten thousand to fifteen thousand, then the message customer will be given a free etiquette to pula langkawi and otherwise display what display message the customer will be given a free lunch at the palace of golden horses so now what is the control structure for this question of course this one is a repetition so why because here you have a condition so what condition is in the question here so it said that if the payment made by customer is over fifteen thousand, then the customer will be given a free etiquette and uh, this is the second condition if the payment is 10,000 to 50,000 and then uh, the customer will be given a free etiquette and the last one is otherwise means that uh, the customer will be given a free lunch at the palace of golden horses so how to write the output so since, since this one is a message so you have to put in the double code so we'll or you can write as customer will be given a free etiquette to bangkok you have to write in double code since this one is a message or the one eh? or will be given a free etiquette to the second statement is Pulau Langkawi okay don't don't forget to put to write double code or double code will be given free lunch at the palace of golden horses hotel okay you don't have option for the output you have to write in full sentence and you have to write in double code so how about the input so the input is of course the payment so payment all right how to write the process for the selection control structure since now you have more than two message to be displayed so you have one two three okay you have more than two message to be displayed so you can write in this way so in selection you start with determine so determine respective message okay respective message based on what based on your input okay your input is payment right so i repeat so since you have more than two messages to be displayed you can just write as the mean respective message understood that this is the message that the program will be displayed okay next
We move to question number C. A Google hypermarket wants to organize an annual sale. The discount given is displayed in the table below. So, calculate and display what? The total discount and amount to be paid by customer by after discount. So, now what is the control structure? So, of course, this one is a selection. So, why it is a selection? So, we have option here. So, it means that the discount will be given based on the amount paid. Okay, if the amount paid is more than 500, so 15% discount will be given. If the amount paid is between 200 and 500, so the discount is 10% and the last one is if the amount paid is below 200, then 5% discount will be given. So that's why this is a control structure. This is a selection control structure. So how to write the IPO? So what is the output? So the output is, so we are going to get the total discount and amount to be paid. So you just write down total discount and you have to put comma. So why you have to put comma? Because we are going to get two values that are First is, we are going to get the total discount and second amount to be paid. So, that's why you have to write a comma. Okay, separated by comma. So, what is the input? So, of course, the amount paid. Okay, amount paid. Okay, now, to write the process for this question, you can just write as determine total amount and amount to be paid based on amount paid or actually you can write as okay in this question what are we going to do first so of course to determine the amount paid okay of course to determine the amount paid so you can also write in this way determine what determine amount paid okay amount paid first then what do you need to do then calculate Okay, calculate total discount okay and total after discount so based on what based on given discount table okay the word here given discount table refer to this one right okay in this selection control structure okay again i repeat you can write as determine total discount and amount to be paid based on amount paid or you can write in this structure so determine amount paid so means that you are going to determine the amount paid first then only we calculate the total discount and total after discount based on given discount table. Okay, actually the process here for selection, you can write, okay, and you can follow the flow, okay, the flow of the, of the question. What the question need to do first, okay. Alright, next. For next question, Harmony Limited would like to calculate the total bonus that will be given to their 1,500 staff. The bonus given will be based on year of service okay, as shown in the table below. So now, actually if you refer to this question, what is the control structure? Of course here, you can see the word here is one. 1500 staff it means that this one is a repetition control structure okay repetition control structure okay now the bonus paid okay is depend on the year of service so this one is the selection 
Okay, in this question, you have repetition and also selection. Okay, selection is in the repetition. So, now, how to write the IPO? So, this one. What is the output? We are going to get the total bonus. So, total bonus for how many staff? For 1,500 staff. And then, what is the input? need to get the bonus okay so of course year of service okay the question is mentioned that based on the year of service okay now how to write the process since this question is selection and also repetition so selection you have to start with determine what are you going to determine 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 so actually you can follow the sequence of the question okay the flow of the question so you can write first actually you need to determine the year of service determine year of service okay we are going to determine year of service first then do what then calculate okay calculate what your output is total bonus okay total total bonus based on given bonus table so given bonus table refer to this table right for for 1500 staff so in selection you have to use the word here is determine and since this question is repetition so this you have to mention for 1500 staff indicate that this one is a repetition okay actually another way to write this process you can also start with repeat 1500 times okay you start with repeat eh? repeat 1500 times comma determine year of service then calculate total bonus based on given bonus table okay so i repeat so you can use the word repeat 1500 staff or times okay Staff or you can write as time repeat 1500 times okay times then you can continue with determine what determine year of service you just take this statement year of service then calculate total bonus based on given bonus or if you don't want to start we repeat 1500 times we just write at the end of the statement for 1500 stuff okay next from user to input in kilobyte and convert in the input into megabyte gigabyte terabyte and petabyte now what is the control structure for this question of course this one is a sequence because you don't have any condition or equation does not mention how many times you have to repeat right okay now so what is the output what are you going to get so we are going to get the megabyte so megabyte okay comma gigabyte comma petabyte comma gigabyte okay sorry another one is terabyte so now here for the output you have to separate by comma because we are going to get the these four different output so that's why you have to separate by comma so what is the input so in this question the question mentioned that from user to input in kilobyte of course user need to input the kilobyte 
Okay, now, how to write the process? So, you just write calculate or you can use the word convert. Calculate your output. So, what is your output? Megabyte. Gigabyte. Okay, you just write in capital letter. Okay, megabyte. Gigabyte. Petabyte and terabyte to kilo petabyte sorry based on right so based on your input based on kilo byte all right next question number 28 a customer can book a flight ticket through an online system. In each transaction, a customer has to pay total flight charges based on what number of passenger and cabin class. So, you have to identify the IPO. So, of course, this one is it a sequence, selection or repetition. Of course, this one is a sequence control structure. Okay, because... The question mentioned that based on. So, based on what? Number of passenger and cabin class. So, this one indicate that this one is the input and user just need to enter the number of passenger and cabin class only. Alright, now how about the output? So, a customer has to pay what? Total flight charges. So, total like charges so what is the input so in this question the input is number of passenger and another input is you have to write a comma okay separate by comma cabin class okay you just direct key in the cabin class and also a number of passenger then the program will calculate the total flight charges. So, how about the process? So, calculate total flight charges based on what? Based on number of passenger and cabin class okay that's all and the last one is a student is required to determine volume of a cuboid so based on what based on length width and height in centimeter unit so now you have to identify the input process and output okay as usual you have to identify what is the control structure of course this one is a sequence okay you don't have any condition Okay, now here, what is the output? You are going to determine the volume. So, volume what? You can write as volume of cuboid. So, what is the input? Okay, in the question, the question mentioned that based on this one. So, length, width and height. So, this should be your input. Length, comma, width and comma, height. Okay, again, you cannot use end. Okay, next. How about the process? So, you have to write as calculate volume of cuboid based on what? Based on length, width and height. Alright, that's all. Okay, okay. So, this is the way on how, how to write the IPO for sequence control structure.